Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo, and this is Christopher Draves. Hello, what's up, people? Our show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You could call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website. HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Now, I like, uh, I'm, uh, I'm apologizing for us not being live. I had some health issues, been kind of running myself kind of thin lately. And uh, it's just kind of one of those things that happens. Um, so we will be back tomorrow live and uh, hopefully it'll be better. Um, today we're here to cover the Florida Everblades between uh, versus the Greensville Swap Rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you see, I'm making fun of myself because I typoed on on our page that we were going to be live versus the Swap Rabbits. Yeah. See, yeah. Um. So, with that being said, it is. It was a ass whooping. I'll just put it that way. I mean, in a way, they are kind of lucky to escape this, in a sense, because. Uh, Screensville's nothing to sleep on. And uh, from the looks of it, this game, I mean, kind of almost went down to the wire um, when you look at it because... How? Um, we'll get into it. Just okay, dude. It me. looked like they fell asleep on the ice because, man, Florida whooped their ass. <laughs> All right. Um... Given that uh, shots were uh, 34 26 in favor of Greensville. Um, I'm going to say this now because I know it needs to be said. A lot of people who may be AHL and NHL fans may look at this and go, man, that's sloppy. Well, imagine, remember watching the bubble when they had that break and then they had to go right into playing in playoffs. And how sloppy that looked, they're getting their legs. Yeah. By now, normally they're halfway through a season. So to anyone who wants to say that it's particularly a messy game, also take into consideration, this is double A. If you're watching from an NHL perspective, it's not going to be as crisp. It may be even more violent. And if that's what you're into for hockey, you may like it. Yeah, well, it's definitely more aggressive. There are checks are more physical than you see in the NHL and AHL. But you got to make a name for yourself to get to the AHL, and sometimes they, you're, they're looking for that guy who hits a little harder than somebody else. Yeah. Um, so uh, scoring in the first was uh, Patrick Harper, assisted by Logan Rowe and Alex Kyle. You want to take the second period? Uh, second period, we had a goal for uh, Greensville. It was a, uh, who is that? How the hell do you say that? Karsh Bachman? Yes. With an assist from Greg. Uh, I can't even say these people's names, literally. Morales. So, yeah, and then uh, Samuel Jardine. And then we had another goal for the Swamp Rabbits. Uh, we had a goal by Greg Morales and an assist by Ben Finkelstein. And then we had another goal for uh, we had a goal for the Everblades. We had Cameron Hebig and an assist by Michael Hutenbrinker and Stefan LeBlanc. All right, before we get into that, it's pronounced Finkelstein. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if their audio guy sucks when it comes to watching. It was a crap. young Frankenstein reference. Oh, well, anyways, I could barely hear the audio. It was all crappy during the feed today. Yeah, their feed wasn't that as good as Florida's was last weekend. Um, that's a downside to Flow Hockey. They only give you the home audio. Yeah. So, um. Uh, scoring in the third was Cole Smith, unassisted, even strength. Then a uh, power play goal by Michael Huntenbreaker, assisted by Cameron Hebig and Tommy Novak. Then we had a shorthanded goal by the Everblades, scored by Tanner Janot. 
unassisted. Um, then the, uh, a little later, about what ten minutes, um, Nick Poling was scored an even strength, equal strength goal with an assist by Karsh Bachman. Um, and then the K R C H. Yeah. Uh, um, and then an equal strength empty net goal scored by Patrick Harper with an assist by Blake Winicky. Um, that goal by Harper was from uh, Florida's blue line. Now, goalie shooting at the whole length of the ice is easier than shooting it from the blue line. You have a much likelier chance of getting hit at the blue line than you do behind your own, own net. Because guys will, you know, they're expecting the pass. So they got to play the passing lanes. So um, it is it is quite um, interesting of a way you look at it. Um, your netminders for this game were uh, Johnson and Bernard, uh, Cam Johnson. And uh, one second. Uh, Ryan Bernard, Ryan Bernard stopped 20 um, statistics, 20 of 26. Um, and Johnson stopped 31 of 36. So um, statistically, uh, Johnson had 31 saves, a 91.1 save percentage, and three goals against. So he stopped 30, 34, it was 34 shots against, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to get through all this, and ECHL sets up their page a little different than everybody else. It's not like you can see everything on one screen. Um, try, and trying to remember all the statistics, reading them wise, is a pain in the neck. You just count. Um, we're good. I got it. Um, so uh, Johnson looked really good. Had a good glove tonight. Uh, they were shooting high on him a lot from uh, the first two periods. Uh, the third period, they shot a little lower. And they were going in. Um, they were also getting second chances. So um, a lot of their goals were scored on second chance shots, um, which is why the, a lot of their shot, a lot of theirs had assists where uh, Florida was scoring on the first try. Um, not many second chances, a lot, not a lot of play, uh, um, puck movement. Um, so that happened as well. Um, but other than that, that's been our show for today. Um, we got another one coming a little later. Um, for Dan and Chris, I'll see you guys later.